any from Chelsea or Leah. If I get one from Kieran, I'll go too. I'm done. Kieran, how far you reach? Not far, all right. So what you say, right? So let's see if we can do it. So first thing first, when n is one, you wanna prove it, that it holds to n is one, right? So remember, I using this here, right? What, what I'm trying to prove. And I'm trying to show that u one is one. So u one is a half by one, by one plus one, which is a half by two, which is one, all right? Then we want to assume Right, we want to assume true for n is equal to, to k. So it now means that just taking up n and I put in k. So it means that uk is equal to half k by k plus one. Kyra, how far you reach? And now we want to show, we want to show it holds for n is equal to k plus one. So I'm taking up n and I put in k plus one. Right, so I'll be left with one half k plus one, k plus one plus one, which is one half k plus one, k plus two. Right, so you should reach here. Again, I like to highlight what we're trying to prove. So we're trying to prove this here. Right, so I want you to prove this. To prove this now, we're going to use what will give on. So we're going to use u to the k plus one as u to the k plus k plus one. Yeah? Everybody okay up until right there? Wait, so sorry, you should be up, you should be okay after this next statement. We're going to replace this with this, right? So we're going to have u to the k plus one is equal to one half k, I take it up uk, and that would be one half k by k plus one plus k plus one. And right? you could treat that as one. Okay. You all reached there for those who didn't get it. You all reached there, Kyra? You at least reach up until here. Oh, you got it? Oh, okay, very good. Okay, then you can get me close to this. Yeah, it's ready, deal. Right, so when you reach here now, here's where you begin to factorize, right? So you'll recognize that they both have k plus one in common, and you could also factor out a half, right? If you want, you could write two over two, so you will see when you factor out the half or what you will get. So if you factor out one half and k plus one from the first term, you'll get k. If you factor out a half k plus one from the next, you'll get two. And uh, basically you're done. You have u to the k plus one is equal to a half by k plus one, k plus two, and that's it. Right, and you write your usual statement. Since it holds uh, for n is equal to one, n is equal to k, and n is equal to k plus one, then by PMI, right, it holds uh, for all um, values n is more than or equal to, to one, right? Any questions there? Check it and see. Jason, how are you looking now? So we 